It's official. Arthur Chu will be bumped down to fifth all-time in number of wins. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. Matt just really dominant today, 39,600. I thought that second daily double in the double jeopardy round was a little aggressive, but it worked out well for him. Speaking of Arthur, he had a very nice piece today about why Matt Jackson is a better player than he is and why it's so impressive for a 23-year-old to show such incredible poise under such a great amount of pressure. Go and read it. It's written in the form of an open letter and very touching. So, uh, Matt has another chance to get on the all-time single-day leaderboard. He had 50000 on Friday. Victor can get up to 24000 so that means Matt can wager up to 15599 that would put him a eh, shade over 55,000. We do have a bit of a fight here for second place. Julia just barely over, that's three fourteen. half of Victor's total, so Victor should wager 2,000. He'll have 10,000 if he's wrong. Julia should wager at least 3,001. She wagered 3,002. Victor wagered 2,001. Everyone got this one right. Matt goes up to 51,000. I wonder if there's some significance behind that. I also noticed he didn't do a, you know, a X plus 1 or 11. Maybe that's all over with. Uh, Final Jeopardy, I always have weird things lying around the house. I had a Robert Frost poetry book that I showed you a few weeks ago. And now I'm going to show you my 1 7th replica of the Bayou Tapestry, which I have seen many times. And it's really... A, a work to behold if you can see it in person. It's something like 230 feet long and the embroidery is just fascinating. I don't know. Here's uh... Who's that? Oh, there's King Harold sitting on his throne. Very exciting stuff. Halley's Comet flew by in 1066 and that was perceived as a bad omen for Harold II who usurped the throne from William the Bastard of Normandy after the death of Edward the Confessor. 1066 is one of three years in which three different monarchs ruled. The other two, I believe, were 1936 and 1553. That was a final jeopardy several years ago. And uh, the Battle of Stamford Bridge, Stamford Bridge with an M, it's one of my favorite battles of all time. I wrote about it in the same history a few weeks ago. It was where the Vikings attacked England in September of 1066, basically distracting Harold from the landing at Hastings, which was going on at pretty much the same time, or a little bit south of Hastings. The Battle of Hastings was pretty much around this time. Maybe a clue time to the season. Well, that was fun, and I'm going to spend some more time folding this up, and we will see you and Matt Jackson tomorrow on the final wager.